Mainers are also making key decisions about who should represent them in local government. News Center Maine's Hanny Ashivi joins us from Bangor, where seven candidates are running for three open seats on the city council. Hannah, that is a crowded field. Hi, Chris. It sure is. And when you drive through the city of Bangor, it's hard to miss all the campaign signs. Among them, the candidates running for city council here. I spoke to all seven of them, and they all seem to agree on what the main challenges facing the city are. I think homelessness, affordable housing, the homelessness situation, the homelessness and transient issue, the affordable housing, the homelessness, homelessness, Issues not unique to Bangor, but top of mind for the seven candidates hoping to help lead the city. To address the city's homelessness dilemma, Dina Yagubaga says substance use and mental health have to all be treated together. So what I have in mind is what we call structured uh, transitional housing, or what we can also call sober home housing funding um, uh, the agencies and organizations that, that provide mental health services and increasing the number of treatment centers. City Councilor Gretchen Schaefer is running for re-election. Money on her mind. Getting the ARPA funds distributed is going to be a major decision that the council has to make coming up and figuring out where to spend that, um, that surplus stimulus money and housing would definitely be an area that we would that I would focus on. For Joe Leonard, tackling the homelessness situation starts by hiring a citywide health and human services chief. He says Maine's public flagship university could also give a hand. The engineering department, the University of Maine, is going to have a 3D printing department that is funded to actually use affordable housing 3D printing technology. I think that's a resource that we can absolutely use to help with the housing crisis and the homelessness crisis. Besides homelessness, candidate Marlena Brochu wants to put her energy in bringing and keeping more folks in Bangor. Bringing in more businesses to Bangor and retaining our citizens and bringing in more citizens and also um, retaining our students by providing, having businesses provide internships and other incentives for them to stay. Free Martin has seen Bangor's homeless problem firsthand. He's the owner of the Ramada Inn in Bangor, a hotel that has served as a homeless shelter during the COVID pandemic. We need to address every apply for every bit of federal funding that we can get, every bit of state funding that we can get. I think that there are a lot of um, uh, buildings and assets in Bangor that um, we can, uh, the city of Bangor can repossess and turn into affordable housing. Another incumbent in the race, City Councilor Susan Hawes wants your vote again because she says she still has a lot to offer. The homeless issue among her work agenda items. I think we need to come to the table with all of those that are involved, the county, um, get the commissioners involved, uh, get other people to the table to have frank discussions and really roll up our sleeves and get to work. I mean, other states and cities have done it. Doesn't mean it will go away, but it would make it easier for everybody. The message from James Butler's campaign also centers around homelessness. Well, first we need to identify where these people are coming from. Um, if they're coming from outside of Bangor, we need to find a solution to maybe have other communities participate in uh, helping these people. Polls open tomorrow morning as early as 6. You need to check with your local officials or on the main.gov webpage for specifics in your city or town. And you have until 8 o'clock tomorrow to cast your ballot. Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine.